What's up world? Today we're talking about amp clamping. It's been going around the last couple years. Uh, it's considered the most uh, accurate way to tell what an amp is putting out. Um, even some leagues like Midwest SPL use it from figuring out classes which is cool. Gets away from the fusing and the just what size the amp is or four ohm whatever not that I'm discriminatory I like all the leaks but uh I like clamping too anyway um, to do that it's a simple equation it's volts AC times amps AC and that gives you the wattage so I'm using two multimeters right now one that is definitely necessary you can't do without is a clamp meter and I'm going to set that to peak hold so that when I hit it it'll hold it and it'll stay we have that around the positive speaker leads going up to the subwoofer and then the other multimeters going to read the voltage and that is on the two the positive and negative of the speaker leads we're going to have to multiply that by two since I have two different speakers going in um, so it won't so that will read properly so I have my amplifier here it's set to a nominal volume so it won't begin max power but it will give you what you need to make the calculations and you'll need a calculator to do the calculations unless you're just a genius and can do it in your head I'm not so I can't I'm probably gonna have to hold these leads in because they keep popping out and uh, we'll get the calculations and do it. So here we go. Okay, so let's see. Clamp meter has 10.78 amps, 10.8. It's varying a little bit. And we have 30.5 volts on one of the speaker terminals. So let's see, we got the calculator here. I'm gonna do 30.5 times 2. Give us our voltage, which is 61 times the AC amps again, which is 10. Point eight equals 658.8 watts RMS so seems simple enough that's what we did any questions just email or reply if I did it wrong let me know that's cool too because um, we're all out to learn and be the best that we can at this car audio thing so thanks for watching see ya